Surgeons at Huntsman Cancer Institute are pioneering a new lung cancer technique, which is less invasive here, and it's drastically shortening recovery time. They're the first hospital to use ion robotic surgery. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, one patient is amazed at how quickly he was back home. Yeah, Dini, lung cancer is the leading cancer killer in our country. So groundbreaking surgery like this can make a life-saving difference. It's already made a difference for Rodney Poche, who found out several months ago that he had lung cancer. It was just amazing to see the technology. When Rodney Poche had ion robotic surgery to remove a five millimeter cancerous tumor from his lung, he says it was like being operated on by someone playing a video game. Imagine going there and just clipping that little piece out and then everything's fine. Rodney used to work with robots in auto assembly, so he appreciates their work. Cancer that aren't getting the cutting Surgeons like Dr. Brian Mitzman have used the Da Vinci robot for years. The ION is a new supplemental robot. It's a camera that goes down the airway and inside the lung. Allowing him to find a tiny cancer, like the tumor in Poche's lung. And then we can inject it with a little bit of dye so that when we go in to take out the cancer, it'll light up for us. It shows us exactly where it is so we could take out the smallest amount of lung tissue possible. A game changer because lung tumors can be hard to find. So a lot of times it's either guesswork or taking out a very big piece of lung just to get out this tiny little cancer. With the ion, they spot the cancer and take out far less lung tissue. Imagine the lung like a big wet sponge and Rodney's tumor was smaller than a pea. So trying to find that pea in a big wet sponge is very difficult. It makes the surgeon's job easier, but the biggest benefit is for the patient. It lets us uh, save as much lung tissue as possible. For a 75-year-old like Poche, that makes a difference in recovery. I felt great. Just one night in the hospital and a few Tylenol compared to a week in bed and opioids. He felt some tingling from the healing, but no pain. It was really surprising to me that it didn't stop me from doing anything. Grateful to get back to his family, which includes four children and 17 grandkids. Nice to be able to just go back and just do normal stuff. I mean, it never really slowed me down. Yeah, exactly. Poche's surgery was so successful that surgeons here at Huntsman Cancer Institute have already done nine other similar surgeries since Rodney's, and they have three more slated for next month.